The IIoT World Tour today offers excellent opportunities for all of us as participants to exchange innovative ideas, strengthen partnerships and explore collaborations together. The digital transformation of our manufacturing sector is one of the areas where we can work even more closely with Singapore. And this is key for helping companies compete on international markets. And Today, ASTAR and 13 other companies, ranging from MNCs, LLEs, SMEs and startups across the IIoT value chain, are signing an MOU to demonstrate their interest to collaborate. Congratulations to all our signatories. We work well together. There are, of course, the occasional stumbles, uh, <laughs> but we do make this work. Uh, and our goal, of course, is uh, to bring these things together so that we have interoperability across our global supply chain. The integrated uh, reference architectures, but it's really designed to help a project manager who's looking at uh, this from, from a big picture point of view, get the solution, get the asset preparation out there and make sure that uh, he's successful in all of this. If you look at how we hope to be able to get things done, we really have to work in a very collaborative mode between the government, between the academic groups and between the industry in a very collaborative way. RTI is sort of a, an anomaly in this world. Uh, we're a small Silicon Valley based software company. But you need platforms that must be reliable, that must provide the quality of service. Many of the uh, PPP models is based on a problem statement. It is driven by a certain specific industry sector to which it must result in outcomes that bring value back to the sector. We're trying to provide um, the best as we can answers to what will be the direction. So I think that's, that's the, the main reason. And therefore, the upstream processes and the downstream processes, the intra-logistics, the programming, and so on and so on, uh, becomes more and more a headache for everybody. There's many common challenges in implementing IoT systems across industries in order to realize this value. We tried to find out what are the new challenges for Industry 4.0 in comparison to Industry 3.0. When you talk about trustworthiness, you have many different perspectives that you're going to have to um, be addressing and being able to communicate to and being able to address. We need to come out an end-to-end -end security design. As I said, from the device level, we need to do two levels of uh, protection. You can leverage that to make sure that the standards are something that are going to be useful. These are not ivory tower things. These are real. These are going to be helpful. And critically, it's going to make customers' lives easier. The idea of them was to develop the strategic concept and organization aspect, not to tell you this is the ISO standard and you have to follow, but a concept where you have to follow and adopt. This is also where ideally I see academia playing some kind of role as a, as a neutral mediator between the interests of, let's say, the government, who has to do some kind of policies, and of course industry who have sometimes their own, their own interests that they, they want to guard. I think there's a lot on IoT, uh, Industry 4.0, of course, um, and also thinking about digitalization in all of these industrial businesses. And I think Stan had talked about the, uh, the competitive collaboration capabilities. I think you'll be able to see how that really ties in with the true heart and soul of what the industrial internet uh, of things is all about. We really look towards our end user who give us the ceiling and expectation and we use that to drive the problem, the requirements, and we build our proposal based on uh, um, specifications and we use that to measure our quality. To me, to the platform, I must say this has been a good day in terms of our collab collaboration. I think that is a proof uh, that it makes sense that we um, do things together uh, and also for us as a platform we have made many new contacts here in Singapore. We are also looking at ways of partnering 
In fact, this is something that we are talking in terms of the government to government perspective on the two plus two format, which we are also trying to get uh, academic as well as industry partners between Germany and Singapore for advanced manufacturing, which includes some of the aspects we're talking about today.